Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about solving an implicit equation using the nonlinear least squares function in MATLAB, this uh, LSQNONLIN function. So to do this, we need to do a few things to get our equation uh, to a position to do that. So I've, the equation I'm solving is this equation 1301. Uh, it's a, a function, so I have these delta. Delta is a is a variable defined as a symbol. So I have this equation. Uh, it's a function of deltas. It's got a lot of deltas in it. And uh, it's quite long. Anyway, so I take I take that equation. And I'm going to turn it into a character string. And then I'm going to add brackets around the character string using this, this notation. I go parentheses, bracket, bracket and single quotes, my character string name, and then closing, closing bracket and single quotes, closing bracket and closing parentheses. And I'm going to replace the delta, the unknown variable in the equation, with x x of one, uh, the LSQ nonlinear function looks for x's if I can if I remember correctly, or you might be able to leave it as delta, but I always switch them to x's because uh, if you have more than one unknown or more than one equation, you need to have all the variables in the same excuse me in the same uh, same uh, basically an array of, of one letter. So I'm going to switch using this reg ex prep function uh, on triple f, the variable triple f, which is the the bracketed character string from here. I'm going to switch the delta for x1 using this function. Then I'm going to turn this triple f2 into an inline function. And I'm going to define this options line where I turn the display off just Actually, I don't even need it. I don't use it anymore. Um, I used to use it. No, I don't. And then I'm going to use this line to solve the equation. So it's x, which will leave my solution. This is uh, just something about how the the solution method, method works. I can't remember the term I'm looking for now. And I'm going to do LSQ, LSQ, NON, LIN my inline function and an initial guess. So what I've done here is made my initial guess uh, 0.1% off of something. I can't remember, but I got it somewhere where I thought it was going to be close. You can also use upper and lower boundaries. You would add them after this line. If you look up the, um, the help on this function, you can see how to add upper and lower boundaries so you can define where your solution parameter will be. And then I'm going to store delta um, as equal to x1, and I'll write it to the command line. So if I run this, you can see that the solution is here. I have a nice long, um, a nice long decimal, a nice long decimal. And that's because I set uh, the. Okay, I didn't do it in the script, but before I did. I set the no nomenclature along. I can't remember how to do that right now. Anyway, so this uh, one way to solve implicit equations is to use this. It's a little, it's a little, let's call it finicky. It's a little tricky. You can get, uh, if you don't put in boundary conditions, you can get solutions way far away from where uh, where you think you need to be. So you, are, you need to check your results to make sure they're, they're somewhat reasonable. But it has worked for me in the past. So. I hope you find this useful and have a good day.